And here's what I want to clear up. I think this is super crucial. This is a huge misconception about retiring early. Just because you can retire early from a job does not mean you are forced to do nothing for the rest of your life. Welcome to the Guilt-Free Money Podcast. I'm your host, Cherry Tung, for all things financial independence, early retirement, and mental health awareness. I went from slaving away at my corporate job to becoming a millionaire, then getting depression and fired from my job, which finally gave me the sign and courage to retire from corporate altogether at 25 years old. If you are ready to kickstart your financial freedom journey while taking care of your mental health, you've come to the right place. You will learn the mindset and strategies to break free from your 9-to-5 identity because you are so much more than your job. I've actually had quite a number of people who criticize me for not really retiring early. And now you might wonder why. Just a little context. Um, a couple weeks ago, I publicly announced that I'm actually, uh, I've retired early from corporate. And that is definitely something that I did not expect because I really thought I'd climb up that corporate ladder the traditional way, work my 40 years in corporate and, you know, live happily ever after. Of course, that didn't work out. Um, I was diagnosed with depression and I had to take medical leave. And shortly after I went back to work for my medical leave, I was actually fired. And so that made me really think about, do I really want to get another job or do I want to just retire early and do what I want in life? Like truly live my most authentic self and don't like not really worrying about what others think of me or worrying about whether or not I get fired um, after taking medical leave. So yeah, that made me decide to retire early. And um, after I made that video, I've actually had quite a number of people criticize me for not really retiring early. So here's their perspective. I'm interrupting my own episode to share my guilt-free money guide with you. It features the four key steps I took to achieve financial freedom and early retirement at 25 years old. Simply head over to cherrytone.co forward slash roadmap to get your copy of my free guide. Um, they say I'm not really retiring early because they see me making Instagram reels. They see me responding to comments. They see me going live on Facebook. And here's what I want to clear up. I think this is super crucial. This is a huge misconception about retiring early. Just because you can retire early from a job does not mean you are forced to do nothing for the rest of your life. So repeat after me. Just because you can retire early from a job that you resent does not mean you are forced to do nothing for the rest of your life. And I consider myself as a living, breathing example of how life can still be interesting and full of adventure after retirement. I'm not just, you know, sitting on my couch doing nothing. I'm not just being a couch potato. I'm not just like, you know, um, being in bed all day or let's say just watching TikToks all day. Like I could do that. Yes, I, I have the choice to do that, but I chose not to. And here's what I want to say. Here's what I want to declare. Yes, I retired from corporate. That is true. But no, I did not retire from living. And it is exactly because I retired from corporate, I now have all the time in the world to do what I really enjoy. And that does include making Instagram reels, responding to comments, going live on Facebook, like what I'm doing right now. And that also includes, for example, you know, fun things such as getting omakase, like om omakase, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not Japanese, but you know, get getting really good sushi um, that is handpicked by the chef or uh, catching a sea urchin from tide pools. This is something that I did a couple weekends ago. It was super fun, by the way, uh, really scary because it was my first time doing it. I almost died, but it was a very, very fun experience. And I wouldn't be able to do this if I'm like so stressed about work. I was able to chill on the beach on the weekday. I was able to uh, get to my doctor's appointments multiple times during the week because, you know, if I had a nine to five job, then I have to uh, go on sick leave. I have to tell my boss. I have to explain. I feel bad taking time off. And because now that I don't have a job, I don't have to explain to anyone. If I have to get to my doctor's appointment, I can get my teeth fixed. I can, you know, do my root canal visit. And all of these are done because I don't have a job anymore. That is my freedom. And I can also get my nails done during the nine to five hours so I don't have to wait till the weekend when there's a ton of people. So this is what it means to retire early. Retiring early gives you freedom. <laughs> if you are forced to do nothing, that does not really sound like freedom to me. Does it sound like freedom to you? So I'm also curious, like what are the things on your to-do list or wish list or bucket list that you are going to get done once you retire early? Because I know a lot of people, they have these lists of things that they want to do after they retire early, but that's not necessarily something that they can do right now because of their nine to five jobs. So tell me, like what are some things that you want to do 
after you retire early. Share this episode with anyone you think can benefit from it. Thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe. If you absolutely loved what you heard today, be sure to share it with me by leaving a review or taking a screenshot of this episode, tagging me at cherrytung.co and sharing it on Instagram where I'm most active. I can't wait to connect with you. In the meantime, go out there and seek your freedom.